to work I go. Monday morning. You guys all have a good weekend or what? I did. Relaxed, went to go see a puppy. Got some stuff done at home. And now it's time to go bring people their stuff again. People always need their stuff and that's where I come in. I bring it to them. Can you imagine if you always had to go and get your own stuff all the time? That wouldn't be very that wouldn't be a very good world at all. That's why you got truckers. We'll go get it and we'll bring it right where you want it. No idea really what's on the agenda for today, but it's going to be a good day, even though it's Monday. I had a good breakfast. I got coffee along. I didn't need to spend it at Timmy's. The weather's cold. It's minus 21 right now. Uh, but tomorrow's going to be even colder, so I should watch my mouth. It's supposed to go down to minus 30 tonight. Finally, normal January temperatures. I was getting concerned. And then it's supposed to warm up by next weekend. <laughs> so it's been a really mild winter. It's been nice. Hopefully we'll get to enjoy a nice summer as well and not a blisteringly hot or rainy summer. I'm looking forward to beaches, campfires. Summer in general is always very nice, especially after a nice long winter. So it's off we go. I can see the southern sky lighting up already in the east, which is good because a couple of weeks ago, it wasn't lighting up at all until well after I was in the truck already. It's a good sign. I want more of that sunshine. See, we're not, our, we're not the only people who leave our Christmas lights up till February. All right, so this is the first day testing my new microphone, seeing if I can hear myself a little bit better, so I don't have to yell all day. That would be nice. See, that took a lot of energy for a Monday. All right, let's get moving. Turn this on. So it's a colder morning than we've had in a little while. If anything is going to break, it's going to break when it's cold. So hopefully we don't have any uh, any issues today. Got to pick up a trailer load, or almost a full trailer load uh, here in southern Manitoba. And we're going to bring it up north of Winnipeg today into the inner lake.
West Arbor and headed north here, very soon it just turns into the forest. And then that's the boreal forest that goes from here all the way up to the tundra in northern Manitoba. What is it? Something like a third of the Earth's oxygen comes from this forest up here. It wraps around the globe all the way around Canada and Russia. And uh, it's, a, it's a huge source of oxygen. It cleans the air for the Earth. And there's nothing up there. Very, very few people. A lot of wildlife, but it's all just untouched wilderness. A lot of it is unexplored. It's a great place to go hunting, I guess, and to get away from everything if, you, if that's what you want. It's just a big, empty forest. I hope it stays that way too, because there's a lot of wildlife up there that, uh, you know, need a home too. We've developed all of southern Canada. It'd be nice if we could leave northern Canada for the animals up there, you know. I'm not like a... I'm definitely not one of those animal rights activists, don't take me wrong, but... I mean, you gotta sort of meet them halfway and acknowledge, you know, they need a home too. You don't want to destroy all of their habitats. I'm kind of hoping that, you know, generations down the road can enjoy the, the wildlife too. But, It is what it is. Got to make sure we're taken care of first, right? The world needs this agricultural area. We've we've cleared all of southern Manitoba for agriculture, and the world needs to eat. So what do you do, right? Got to grow food somewhere. Can't grow any food on the moon, so I guess we're just gonna have to keep clearing land and making more food as the population grows. Spend a bit of 
time you're filling up the rest of the trailer before heading back into southern Manitoba. I'm going to have to start making like a list like of shippers and their COVID policy so that when I show up there I remember what their specific policy is. But like I said, most of them, you're, you're safe to assume most of them don't want you on the dock. That's usually... It'd probably be better and more efficient to create a list of shippers that want you on the dock, because that would be a shorter list. I mean, can you hear Karen? Karen's yelling at me. I know a lot of you have missed Karen. She's back. She's just a little quieter. I like to keep her quiet. And then she's always yelling at me all the time, because when you're in the city, she's always yelling at you. Turn here, turn here, don't turn here. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Karen was my GPS when I was on the highway. Use the left two lanes to turn left onto Inkster Boulevard, Route 25 East. She's back. Come on, get me around this corner here. A little bit of a low gear, that's okay.
our sunlight. That means it's time to go home, right? As soon as this fine driver gets out of our way and our light turns green, just like that. That's the last traffic light until we get to Steinbach. Wait, wait, no. Last traffic light till we get to Blumenor. They got a new one there, remember? Some people forget. I think I showed you the other, the other week. The people haven't quite figured out how they work yet, but they're getting there, they're getting there, one day at a time. Just leaving Winnipeg, so we're on the, the east perimeter right now. Look at this. Nice. Classic. There's a treat for the ride home. That sun sure disappears quickly when it does, eh? I'm gonna stop here in St. Anne and grab some fuel so I don't gotta do that in the morning. I have a feeling I'm going to be a pretty busy bee in the morning. Lots to do. This done tonight, so I got one less thing to do tomorrow. You also don't want to park the truck overnight with uh, half tanks if you don't have to. I always like to park it with full tanks. It's just better for the trucks all together, especially in winter time. Oh, that's right. This is the one where the pumps were out of order. I wonder if they fixed them already. I hope so. It's been like a week. They better have fixed it by now. There's a little card lock here in town, in St. Anne. Let's see, is this working? Did you fix it? No, you didn't fix it yet. Both of them are not fixed yet. Oh, dozen. What in the world? Oh, it's cold. It is cold. It's actually cold this time. It's about minus 30. Woo! I don't know why I put my mask on to go fuel outside by myself. But it's kind of a habit already. It also keeps my uh, keeps my face warm. I think that's why I do it. I just do it to cover my face and then stay warmer. Alright, we got it done. We just have to string the line across. Just use one side. 202 liters. Just gonna get out of the way here. There's another guy waiting behind me to fuel. So I'll get out of his way. I've gotta do a little bit of paperwork here now. We gotta bring this thing home, park it inside. She needs to be tucked in tonight for sure. Picked up a bit of dog food on the way home. Just a bit. Let's get our rock star welcome, shall we? You ready for this? Where can I put you? I'm just gonna have to hold on to you. Hold on tight, guys. Hey, boys. Hey. Oh, Frank, you're always so brave. You just jump in there with all the big guys. He thinks he is big. <laughs> Wiener, be careful. Be careful, Wiener. I can come say hi to you separately later. I should have. Hey, Wiener. Wiener. Watch the little guys, everybody. Come on. Go inside. Go. Come on. Go, go, go. They're coming. Trust me. Chevy. <laughs> Chevy. Oh, and a jealous weasel. Did I wake you out of a snooze? I couldn't let you pet him without petting me too. Chevy, come here. You missed your pets. You walked right past me. I'll take his pets. He said I could take his pets. It's okay. Chevy, hey, come here. Come here, sir. I can't give your pets to Diesel. They're non-transferable, man. 
This is, oh, Diesel's mad. Fine game. I'm going back to my. Good boys. So today I lost a bunch of footage. You might have noticed that we were on our way up to Arburg, and then suddenly, boom, we were back in Winnipeg. There was a lot of footage in between there. I guess I didn't have my new mic properly plugged in. I'm still trying to get used to it. I'm still learning, I guess. And uh, it picked up no audio. We were uh, behind that truck that you saw in the intro uh, with the, the white cloud just pouring out of the exhaust. I was talking about how when it gets cold, the warm air from in the engine comes out the exhaust and it creates this vapor trail behind the truck, sort of like a plane in the sky, right? Uh, and it looks like smoke, but it's not actually smoke. But that's what my truck does too when it gets this cold. It was between minus 25 and minus 30 all day today, and tomorrow is going to be even colder. Tonight it's supposed to get down to minus 33 to minus 35, and the wind chill is down around minus 50. So the vehicles are plugged in outside. Uh, what, what that does is when you plug your vehicle in, uh, it keeps the oil pan or the block warm enough to turn over in the morning. Because if you don't plug it in on a night like tonight, there's a good chance you're not starting your vehicle in the morning. It's too cold. It's frozen solid. So we plug it in overnight. So I should be good. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit of a cold day, but eh, we'll be all right. Commander! Commander, hey! Commander? I guess I'm just not important enough for him. Chevy, you're lucky you get to stay inside in the warmth. I can't wait for summertime. But we've been lucky. This is how January usually is the entire month. This is our first day of actual winter here in Manitoba. We've got another two or three days ahead of us so that's going to be really cold. And it's supposed to warm up for next weekend. Hmm. Excuse me. So it's not even sticking around that long. This winter has been very nice to us. But anyways, uh, I'm going to uh, cut it off here, call it a day. I just wanted to explain to you why we were in Arburg and s on our way to Arburg and then suddenly, boom, back in Winnipeg. All of the footage I got in Arburg and on the way back didn't turn out, so it sort of messed with my storyline a little bit. But we got enough footage to make a vlog out of it, I think, and uh, uh, pretty much what we did was we went and emptied in Arburg, came down to Winnipeg and filled the trailer up again so that we could deliver it in southern Manitoba. That's all I did all day, buzzing around Winnipeg. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It does help me a lot. Come back tomorrow uh, and hit that subscribe button on YouTube so you don't miss any of my future videos. We make a new video every day, and hopefully tomorrow I won't lose any footage so that the storyline kind of makes a little bit more sense. We'll talk to you tomorrow.